there everybody good morning welcome back to seven minutes in the morning my name is tom rigsby your host thank you so much for being here i appreciate that this week we're talking about uh burnout or overwhelm or whatever you want to call it i i yesterday i called it uh welcome to the season of overwhelm it's not the holiday season it's the overwhelm season because that's what a lot of people feel so I want to talk about that some today, and um, I don't know, a couple other things. We'll see where the show takes us today. Um, but before we get into that, if you are watching live or watching on the replay, go ahead and drop a comment down there. Let me know that you are here. And I pointed out yesterday that uh, this show goes out into a lot of different venues. So we do the show live on Facebook Live, stream it live every morning, 7 o'clock Central Time here in the States. Uh, and then within a few minutes after that, it's out on uh, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, YouTube, a couple of other places like that. Got some comments back yesterday, especially from Ulrich. Thank you, Ulrich, for coming over to Facebook and saying hi. If you are listening on one of the podcasts, come on over, find us on Facebook, and leave a comment there. Let us know that you're listening, what you enjoy about the show. Always love to hear uh, love to hear that. The easiest way to find it is to go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That gets you to the right page. Or if you're already in Facebook, just look up Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. See, that's a lot longer. Just TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. And if you happen to be watching on Facebook, and it would be more convenient for you to listen uh, on one of the podcast catchers, by all means, do that as well. Today is Tuesday. That means the radio show is coming up in a little less than an hour. So I'm going to try and hustle through this today so I can get down there and get that rolling for you. But do what uh, Joe and Keith and my beautiful bride have done already this morning. Leave me a comment. Let me know that you're here, that you're watching. And if this feels like either currently or in the past for you, this kind of last dash of the of the year the last 40 to 45 days of the year if that feels like the season of overwhelm for you let us know that too uh, that's that's one reason why i'm going through this starting this now uh, but i'm going to have by the end of the week i'm going to have some takeaway tactics that you can use to help reduce that feeling of overwhelm and that sense of uh, maybe that that drive that you're making toward burnout um, and fix that for you. Give you some tools to help fix that before the end of the week, hopefully. All right, so yesterday we were talking about signs of overwhelm that you can't relax and recharge. We were talking about, I uh, talked a little bit about what I did last week. I took a couple of days off from the show and actually did hard physical manual labor <laughs> but and, and drove a lot. But that's, if you can't, take time off, whether it's a long weekend, a regular weekend, or just the evening after coming home from work, if that time doesn't allow you to rest and recharge, then you are driving yourself toward uh, this condition, the state of overwhelm, and heading for burnout. So that's one thing to look for. Do you, after the weekend's over, do you even feel recharged uh, or relaxed? Hey, good morning, Stephanie. Thank you for being here also. All right, so today I want to talk to you about being sick and tired, right? Having low energy uh, or being sick. <clears throat> we, we think about overwhelm and burnout a lot as something that goes on in our head, but what goes on in our head has an actual impact on our physical body also. I mean, you, we, we kind of joke a lot of times about people that are hypochondriacs who can talk themselves into being sick. But that's real. You can convince yourself. So now I'm not saying that's what happens all the time. There's two parts to this. But you can convince yourself. What you focus on, you feel. Right? So if you feel like, I don't know, your back hurts, then every time something happens, Here's a great example. The end of July, I think it was July the 30th. Vicky's watching. She can correct me if I'm wrong. July the 30th, I had a little episode, passed out, right? Four weeks after that, every time I got a, 
you know, anything's like, whoop, what, about to pass out again? What you focus on, where your inner, where your focus goes, energy flows, right? So what you focus on is what you feel, right? So if you feel sick of your job, I mean, how, I mean, you, we've said this, you hear people say this all the time, I'm just sick of my job. You can actually make yourself sick by thinking about that. That's part number one. Part number two, though, is when, when this happens, when you can't relax, you can't recharge, then you convince yourself that you have no energy to exercise. You got no energy to get up and move around. So you just, what do you do? I worked so hard today. I just need to rest. And you sit there and your mind is churning the whole time you don't get any rest, right? You, you actually physically make yourself tired. And when your body is tired, it doesn't rest, it doesn't recharge, that's when you get sick, right? So in the, the seven areas of our life where I say we need balance, right? Time is one of them. Health is number two, right? <clears throat> you don't have to spend all your time at the gym and turn into a gym rat, but you need to do something to take care of yourself, right? To, to move around to keep things working, to keep the machine well-oiled. And in fact, as this, uh, you know, overwhelm and, um, and burnout goes, it can create a lot of stress. We'll talk about stress later in the week, but stress creates this hormone in our body called cortisol. Cortisol makes us want to just slump down and eat comfort food. And cortisol can have a very detrimental effect on your body. Well, exercise, moving around, replaces that cortisol with endorphins, which pump you up and get you going. Just saying, you know, maybe it wouldn't hurt to get up and walk around the block. And in fact, one of the patterns that I teach and encourage people, uh, yeah, well, one of the patterns I uh, teach people, right, is to work for 25 minutes, set a timer, take one topic. You can't work on 15 different things in 25 minutes. Take one task, one topic. Work on it for 25 minutes. When the timer goes off, get up, walk around for five minutes, come back and sit back down. If you didn't finish in that 25 minutes, take another 25 minute block. Work on it for 25 minutes, get up and walk around. That's 10 minutes every hour <clears throat> that you're up and moving around. And just that moving around, if you work at home, get up, walk around the outside of the house. If it's cold outside, do laps up and down the hall. If you're in an office, get up and walk around the cube farm. Whatever it is, just get, all you have to do is get up and move. That gets the blood out of your legs, back up into your body, increases circulation. And what does that do to your brain? Feeds it more oxygen. What happens when it gets more oxygen? You think better. All right? Get up, move. All right? That's it. That's the, uh, that's one of the warning signs that we're talking this week about warning signs or symptoms of overwhelm and impending burnout. One of them is you're just sick and tired, right? What, metaphorically or, or actually sick and tired. Stay with me this week. We're going to talk about, I've got uh, at least three more that we're going to talk about. By the end of the week, we're going to have some tips and tactics for you to avoid overwhelm and burnout. That's what I want to share with you by the end of the week. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to leave a comment down there. Uh, to let me know that you are here. If you have questions, comments, put those in there. And if this is the season of overwhelm, not the holiday season, but the season of overwhelm for you, let us know that too. Let me know uh, what you are experiencing. So a couple of more good mornings before we go. Vicki Morris, good morning to you. I've got some stuff I need to talk to you about. Uh... Yeah, so Vicky says uh, that she works at a chiropractor's office. Being in that office, that she can see that the older people that actually get up and move and take care of themselves are in much better shape. Shocking. But the ones that just sit there and watch TV, not in such good a shape. Uh, if you're active, your age does not define you. Ooh, I like that. All right, that's it for this morning. Thanks for being here. Remember, listen to the radio show, WTKIRadio.com, or 
uh, talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. That gets you to the Facebook page. You can watch us live. Be back here in the morning. You take care. Have a great Tuesday.